know someone who makes me dance He's the reason my feet are moving He's the reason I'm gonna lift my hands and clap to the clubhouse, it's me, Kai, and I'm so excited to see you today. This is going to be the best day ever. I have a brand new kite, just like my friend Zoe. We're going to meet some of our friends at the park today and fly kites together. I'm going to surprise them with a picnic. I packed all our favorite foods. I can just imagine how much fun it's going to be. I've got ham sandwiches. I like mine with mustard. I've got apple slices. Zoe likes the green ones the best. Oh, and I can't forget Miss Kathy Sue's sugar cookies. She always shares with us when she bakes. She's such a good friend. And juice boxes, because flying kites makes you thirsty. I can't wait to get to the park. It's the perfect day to fly a kite. Ooh. Ooh. It's Ollie! Hello there, Kai. Ho, ho. Have a fun day plan, do you? Hi, Ollie. I sure do. Flying kites and having a picnic is going to be so much fun. I can hardly wait. Being with friends is fun. It's true. I have just the story for you. Just listen to this. 
Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Oz got a Bible story for me and you. <gasps> Hi, guys. I'm Aisha, and welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to see my latest creation? <laughs> They're my banana chocolate chip breakfast cupcakes because sometimes you can't wait for dessert. But you didn't come here for that. You came for the story and guess what? It's about breakfast too. So if you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Today's true story from the Bible is about a breakfast that happened not long after Jesus came back. Do you remember why we celebrate Easter? It started out sad. Jesus died and was put in a tomb. But did he stay in there? No! <laughs> Jesus came back just like he said he would. It was such good news. Jesus is alive! <laughs> and one of the things he wanted to do was spend time with his friends. Now do this with me. What do you think we're doing? Are we throwing a shoe? No! What are we doing? We're fishing! That's right! And that's what Jesus' friends were doing. They were in a boat fishing early in the morning when all of a sudden... Look! <laughs> Who is that standing on the shore? Yes, it's Jesus! Jesus is alive! His friends were so excited to see him. Show me your excited face! <laughs> Good job! In fact, Peter was so excited that he jumped in the water to swim to Jesus. Let's pretend to swim to Jesus. Ready? <laughs> Very good! You can stop swimming now, we made it! And when they got to shore, Jesus was cooking breakfast. So they all sat and had breakfast with their best friend, Jesus. Jesus is alive! <laughs> he loved them so much and wanted to show them that he would always be their friend forever and ever. And do you know what? Jesus loves you so much and he wants to be your friend too, forever and ever. How awesome is that? Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up! <gasps> hey there, Ollie! Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who wants to be your friend forever? Jesus wants to be my friend forever. That's the truth, friends. Better believe it. See you next time. Bye! So there's your story. It's all true. Jesus spent time with his friends on the beach. Jesus is the best friend of all. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie! Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Jesus wanted to spend time with his friends. Jesus is the best friend anyone could ever have. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. I can't wait to hang out with my friends today and I'm going to make sure and tell them all about how Jesus is the best friend ever. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18. How wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, Ephesians 3.18.